Tonight, a 10-year-old Williamsburg boy is being remembered for his kind spirit and old soul. Everything seemed normal the week before Christmas for the Peck family until their son Josh started feeling sick. He died 11 days later. Now this local military family is remembering the positive memories they shared and celebrating his love for all things classic. Penny Your Side's Amy Avery walks us through Josh's journey and the simple symptoms that change his parents' lives forever. Josh Peck wasn't just your ordinary 10-year-old. His family describes him as a unique kid with a love for vintage Volkswagens, helping kindergartners in the computer lab, and the kid who collected items for the lost and found then actively searched for the kids who lost them. His journey ended way too soon, but his legacy continues on four wheels. <laughs> Moments in time, captured forever. The positive memories are everywhere. We look around and we see them. Sometimes that hurts more. Ten-year-old Josh Peck was one of the biggest classic car lovers out there. And his love started right here. He would pretend like he was working on it. I'd let him sit in the driver's seat. He liked all cars, but vintage Volkswagens were his favorite, even hoping he'd find an old VW bus to fix up and drive around someday. And we'd always tell him, like, that wasn't... It's not too realistic, that's right? Not realistic. Like, you don't just find a van. <laughs> um, <laughs> then he met someone who did. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that was challenging. <laughs> Everything all seemed normal the week before Christmas, until it wasn't. To know that this happened and there was nothing that they could do for him. Josh originally started complaining of ear pain, but since he swims, his parents, Matt and Christina, thought it was swimmer's ear. The pain went away. Then Josh started throwing up. We took him to urgent care and, you know, they just thought it was a stomach bug. We brought him home. He started kind of getting delirious, not really making sense. So we took him to the ER. From there, every step forward was like two steps back. They took one look at him, um, ordered some tests, came back and said, you know, he probably has meningitis. Josh was flown to CHKD in Norfolk. On the way, he stopped breathing and had a stroke. With all the swelling, there was no place for the pressure or anything to go. Josh was admitted to the hospital six days before Christmas and died five days after. CHKD Director of Infection Prevention and Control, Dr. Laura Sass, says meningitis isn't common because kids are vaccinated against most strains. If your child has a fever, headache, or especially neck pain, those are signs to see a doctor just like the pecs did. You know your child. You know when your child's not acting normal. Dr. Sass says not every case is deadly or even warrants a doctor, but parents know best. You want to be able to touch your chin to your chest like this. When you have meningitis, it's inflamed. All of the your head hurts. Matt and Christina say they feel like a piece of them is missing. Josh's little brother, James, misses sitting on the couch with him playing video games. And baby Josephine turned one month old the day Josh was admitted to the hospital. He was so excited to be her big, big brother. But boy, do they have stories to tell her about her big brother someday. He was the one at school that would help push somebody in a wheelchair or like on the playground if there was a hole. He was always like, hey, we have to fill this in. Somebody's going to twist their ankle. He had a certain kind of empathy that you don't see in a normal 10 year old. In just a matter of days after Josh's death, support for the Peck family rolled on in from near and far. Matt and Christina wanted to incorporate Josh's love of classic cars into the memorial service. And vintage car owners came from all over the state. It felt like the right thing to do. Joe Whitlock brought his 61 Beetle, fully equipped with a sticker that says, Riding with Josh. But that's not just for today. That's going to be on our cars until the sun takes them away. Riding off in that yellow 74 Beetle. Probably singing a little karaoke or playing his guitar, most likely helping someone somewhere along the way. It's the little things that you don't really even notice until he's gone. We just want him back. 